my name's Tom and I am the narrative designer on Subnautica. Um, what we tried to do initially was to structure the story in such a way that you could explore the game and find different elements of the story around the world and it wouldn't matter too much what order you discovered those elements in. It would be like a mystery story where you just plugged in clues. Um, but honestly it was a bit of a mishmash of different solutions. It's a combination of having story that works in any order, sort of, but not completely, and uh, having, um, having uh, a little bit of a push guiding player in the right direction. So on this game in particular, I was really inspired by some philosophical reading that I was doing around the time when I started, around uh, kind of Zen philosophy, Buddhism, Eastern religion, that kind of thing. Uh, Alan Watts is one of my favorite philosophers at the moment. And so I was really inspired by a way of thinking which sees the world as a holistic entity, as something which uh, requires every single element of it to work together. We in the West, we see ourselves as these um, vulnerable little things which are wandering around in an alien world and the world's out to get us and we're out to get it. And our job is to take as much as we can for ourselves and not worry about the rest of it. Uh, I'm excited about holistic ideas of the world that say no, every single piece is necessary and every single piece is equal because it's all the same big thing and that was subtly something which was inspiring me all the way through Subnautica uh, but on top of the fun and the mystery there's that little bit of, of something larger that I hope some people will pick up on. I have a whole bunch of databank texts that you can pick up from abandoned PDAs and computer terminals which are scattered around uh, the Aurora and around the wrecks from the Aurora. So there's a text about uh, Altera Arms, uh, which is the charity group which is kind of a charity and kind of helping to train unemployed people uh, to get into the workplace but is also kind of it's kind of a sham and it's kind of a masquerade for basically being slave labour. Uh, that's in the game, no one knows that's in the game apart from me and the players, but that's in the game. I'm not going to mind too much if they say, the story's alright, it's interesting, it's not the best thing in the game, but what I really want is for people to come away and say, but the ending touched me, the ending moved me, the ending surprised me. If I get that, I'm super happy. So.